again, Tai Chi misconceptions. Uh, as I said at the end of my last video, from here on out, I'm going to be standing in high horse stance for 20 minutes a day on camera, just as a way to keep myself honest, honestly, because I don't keep up with my practice as much as I should, which is the problem, because as I said in my last video, Tai Chi is hard work. So I have studied under a lot of different people, and of all the different ways to do this uh, is the best, the way they got me the best results was the feet being um, uh, shoulder width a little bit wider, knees directly over the third toe. You gotta really look, because you're looking down at angles, so. Really kind of push those knees out as best you can. And you gotta focus on the inside of your, uh, the muscles on the inside of your knees doing the work of pushing your knees out. Uh, that's gonna teach you how to move using the inside of your legs instead of the outside of your legs later on as the form goes on. All right, can you start the timer for me? Oh, I already did. Actually, oh, can you restart one. the timer for me then? Because I forgot to actually get into the full stance. Yeah. I'm just talking about the knees and shit. All right, so um, that, that place, that crease in your butt, that place you pray to God you didn't get spanked as a child, that specific spot, that sits like directly over your heels. Timer is going. Oh. Can you wait until I actually ask for a start? I apologize. All right, so that's directly over my heels. And then there are many different ways to hold your arms according to which stance you're going to do. I'm gonna do 10 minutes of hugging the tree and then I'm gonna do standing bear for 10 minutes. So if you would actually do me a favor, start the timer, I apologize. I got my buddy helping out. You may remember me from such memorable things as Monday Night Blood Bowl. We have a channel called Monday Night Blood Bowl where we watch people play Blood Bowl. I've also been teaching him push hands, which has been... Interesting. Yeah, I'll say. Because uh, push hands kind of requires you to kind of let people into your boundaries. And a lot of people aren't good at that. Tai Chi is a uh, martial art of poor boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> kind of is, isn't it? It's like they, they say it's about uh, Yang over uh, defeating... It's, they, they say it's about Yin defeating Yang. Which is a really weird saying. It's a really weird way of saying we prefer to pull people in than push people out. Like, well, uh huh? I mean, instead of punching them as they come in or pushing them as they come in, we, we pull them in. Closer. Just a little bit closer. Closer than they wanted. When they're closer slightly, than that. When they're slightly closer than they're actually comfortable with, their body will reject, will, will, will react. They will jerk away, and then you just push them. It's psychology. It's science. It's the nervous system. <laughs> Training yourself to use it. There, there's the problem. I love the nervous system. It's aptly named. Yeah, mostly it keeps me nervous. Right? Shit. Woo! You know, the problem is you go like, you go like a week without doing this because you decide to take a week off to rest. And then you start, instead of physically obsessing over your Tai Chi, you start mentally obsessing over it. So you start a third YouTube channel. That kind of thing. See, I wouldn't know anything about that. I stopped at one unsuccessful YouTube channel. Yeah, so I, uh, I, uh, Forget how much your, uh, ooh, what's the muscle on the front of the leg? Quads? Yeah, yeah. quadriceps. Forget how much your quads start burning right away. Because that's all, ultimately what this pose is. Your quads are doing all the work of holding you up. That way you can focus on doing uh, specific isometric tendon exercises. Put your chi in your knee as you climb upwards. No, just... She is an adjective. So, when you're doing this pose, and they talk about like uh, moving your chi along your body lines and whatnot, in reality, what we're talking about, I really think, is uh, mindfulness exercises. You just put your brain on that little strip of tendons that holds your knee there, and you tense it up. Now, apparently, if you do that for eight seconds, that's the best si number according to science for, for tendon stretch, for tendon isometric exercises. 
So I started really focusing on each section for eight seconds, moving on, finding a different section, focusing on it, eight seconds. Woo! Well, if you multiply the uh, each uh, eight seconds by each muscle and tendon, that can lead you with a, a sizable amount of time to be doing stance work. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do do tendon sections. Like, you can't do all three muscles on the pes anserinus tendon separately. Like that tendon is kind of an asshole that way. I forget the muscles that attach to it. What was the name of the tendon? The pes anserinus tendon. It's called that because it looks like a duck foot. It's on the, it's on the inside of your knee. And uh, I believe it connects to the. Adductor longus. Woo! That felt good. Well, I was thinking about the pen center and serinus tendon, which caused the muscles on the inside of my leg to start relaxing because I was thinking about them. Well, first I need to learn how to spell that before I can see what muscles they attach into. T E S. God damn it. E-E-S, A-N-S, A-N-A-S. A-N-S-E-R-I-N-E-T-E-N-D-O-N-S. Yeah. Goosefoot. Goosefoot, yep. yeah. Duckfoot, goosefoot. Same difference. Sartorius and gracilis. Oh, yeah. So you can imagine. It's all inner leg work. Yeah, if you really focus on, on, on kind of doing isometric exercises on that tendon specifically you could do some pretty nice you could do you could add a lot of pretty good strength to your adductors which honestly aren't that strong to begin with so it doesn't take a whole lot of strength to do what they do that's why tai chi is nerd foo ah nerd foo don't make me spock your ass i don't think spock learned tai chi which is a shame, because it would be the most logical system of uh, martial arts for him to learn. No, not with him, because he had a different physiology. He only had 50% of a different physiology. He had the Vulcan neck grip. I mean, if it works, you don't need to change it. Yeah, but then he's just practicing Vulcan Aikido. But instead of grab my wrist, it's I grab your neck, and that's it. You know... Aikido works. Aikido works for very specific circumstances. Which I admit is situational, but how often in your life have you ever needed like really hardcore fighting styles? Like, usually if somebody grabs you and you have enough Aikido to get their hand off you, that's enough for them to go, okay, I probably shouldn't fuck with this guy. Well, um... I mean, yeah, if you're going up against somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing, they know how to anti-grapple, they've got some anti-joint skills, yeah, your Aikido isn't going to impress them, but most people? Come on. Whoo! My right quad is burning. a lot more tension on my right side than my left side. Like the left side doesn't hurt at all and the right side is just killing me. What's the timer at? I shouldn't ask. Knowing does not help. Do you want to know or do you want me to stick with knowing does not help? Both. Okay then. That didn't help. Well, you gave a conflicting statement, so I chose one for you. Fuck you. Oh, please excuse the language. This hurts. Here's the thing. Like, if you're watching me do this, and you don't believe that it hurts... Try it. That means you've either never done this properly, 
or you've forgotten what it feels like. Mm. Either way, it still hurts. I didn't have anything for that. That was just me talking through pain. Oh, okay, there goes my... Woo! There went an ad, Doctor. don't do parody songs on this channel. That's from Monday Night Blood Bowl. Well, I mean, it's Monday, so I mean, my, my brain is starting to kick into... Oh, okay. M -N M -N -B. M -N -B -B. Yeah. I thought there was a D in that acronym. No, Monday Night Blood Bowl. M-N-B-B. 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 Ooh, yeah. That burns like a motherfucker. Interesting fact, most motherfuckers have chlamydia. So... Sorry, bad joke. Yeah, thank you. So, I don't I don't know the name of the muscle that's burning, but it's directly under my view bone and it runs to my knee. It's either the gracilis or the adductor longus. That would be the adductor longus. Okay, so my adductor longus... the name. My adductor longus is currently just like screaming in pain. Because it wants nothing more than for me to stand up. Ooh. You ain't the boss of me. Hey, ten minutes is up. That means I get to switch my hand position. So this was standing tree. It's a great way to train yourself to circle for defenses. Fascial building, stuff like that. <sighs> this one, on the other hand, I discovered the other day is a much different, much different purpose. So when you do this one, you're supposed to kind of imagine your hands being pulled towards the ground. Right. Which is a great way of engaging the, the muscles in your forearm without engaging the muscles in your shoulder. So the other day when I was hitting the punching bag, I realized I wasn't using my shoulder anymore. I had trained it out of me doing this pose. So what you're saying is, is that's actually a great pose for doing what you're doing. Yeah, I mean they both are. All right, so you're stranded on a desert Ch Tai Chi island. What? And you can only take one Tai Chi pose with you. Which one do you? Don't ask why you're only restricted to one. You just are. Probably standing tree. <clears throat> you look less like an idiot when you're doing it in the park. Desert island. No parks. Oh, I would never be anywhere near the ocean. So don't worry about that. I have pictures of you near the ocean. Yeah, I was forced to go. It sucked. Oh, shit. Did you not restart the timer? No, I was waiting for the verbal start the timer, because the first time <laughs> we had that whole thing. Read my mind! No! I'm still trying to build my pipe over here, and you're already halfway done. Tai Chi will not turn you into a psychic, folks. Nope. For that, you need to take Kung Fu. So what were we doing? Oh, yeah, we were doing push hands. I was teaching you push hands. Back to the first subject. And uh, we were discussing the whole idea of uh, defending the right attack with the left hand and the left attack, the left, defending your opponents with the, from the opposite side. So if they attack with the right hand, you defend with the right hand instead of the left, you know. Instead of attacking with the closest hand, theoretically, Attacking with the hand that's slightly further away, but will provide the most beneficial outcome. Yes, that. Beneficial outcome. That's what we need in this country. Beneficial outcome. Don't 100%. get percent Like, I ask you not to get political on these channels, man. 
Yes. Oh, that's... Where can we go? Totally political. I don't I'm, think. I just... I'll I don't work know. on it. Thank you. But, like, uh... Because, uh, like, the, uh, the attack comes... Like, someone throws a right-handed attack. If you defend with the right hand and you manage to slide that left hip into where they're supposed to, you know, suddenly you're not where they thought you were because you've been working your hip work as hard as you've been working your arm work. Right. Bam, suddenly you've got a free left hook into their ribs. I hate when you do that. I hate when it happens to me. I've been training, I've been training the, 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 the child how to fight like that. The middle is? Yeah, she can pop someone in the ribs real easy now. The other day, our buddy who does Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was trying to show her some stuff, and she just kept punching him. I was so proud. Well, that's what happens when you leave openings. Woo! There it goes. I was tensing my back up, my low back up, trying mm -hmm. to hold myself up. Forgot my uh, quads are supposed to be doing that. I was like, why do my quads feel great and my back hurt? you're doing stance wrong. Because I'm doing stance wrong. There's the trick. You want to know if you're doing it right. Does something besides your quads hurt? And we're not, we're talking outside of the normal everyday pain that you may experience from, you know, being alive. No. No? No. No? No. No. Transfer all that pain to your quads. Just really focus on your quads, holding up your body, and letting everything else relax. Because oftentimes that pain is because, you know, you got fascial adhesions, you got adhesions on tendons, you got adhesions in muscle bellies. You got to learn how to let those muscles relax. Or see a massage therapist. Where can I find one of those in my area? Probably Google. So, woohoo! Ah! Really? Sorry, <laughs> it's not like jungle noises. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> yes, I am. I know. Oh. Yep, hamstrings are wanting to let go now. But only my right hamstring hurts. Yeah, just my right leg hurts. My left leg is fine. I really regret shutting that window to keep the noise, the noise traffic out, the traffic noise out. Burning up? Burning up! Burning man! Never been. Too many hippies. I don't think it's hippies that go to Burning Man. It's only hippies I know that talk about it. I have friends who are hippies. I don't mind them individually. But when they get together and congregate... Too much patchouli? Too much. I have that problem with where I work. Well, you're a massage therapist, so that can happen. Yes, it can. Also, I'm surprised by the number of people I work with that don't believe in deodorant. I would not be surprised by that. I work there, too. Oh, my lord. Woo! I forget his name, Ian Sinclair. He's out of Canada. In one of his videos, he was talking about how eventually you do this, and your quads, you can just fry fucking eggs on them. Okay, he didn't swear in his video. But I was like, yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty apt for what your quads should be feeling like while you're doing this stuff. See? Yeah. Forgot what I was going to say. That's fine. Train a rail, be thought. No survivors. Okay. You able to make it for eight 
more minutes? <laughs> you lying son of a bitch. It has not been two minutes since we switched. No, just since I remember to turn the timer on. Oh, you. I hate you. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, Mr. Bond. I am Batman. I Batman has black hair. Also, my parents are still alive. You're more like gingerbread man. <laughs> man meat man. Gingerbread <laughs> is my greatest fear. So now I dress like a gingerbread man to scare my opponents. Why are gingerbread your fear? Let's start there. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Oh no, it's the you, gingerbread man! You can't outrun the gingerbread man. No, seriously, how much time is left? Can't tell you that, Dave. Yes, you can. Just tell me. I'd rather you be pleasantly surprised. I hate your face. All right. I feel like I'm leaning forward too much all the time. Mm, you look pretty straight from here. Oh, good. But my depth perception isn't the greatest. There goes, there goes something in my quad. So, from what I can base, based on what I can figure out from my research, doing this eventually will exercise the short tendon fibers, mm -hmm. the short twitch fibers as well, as long as the long twitch fibers, which will create both stability and speed. After that, it's about learning how to use it, which is what form work and push hands is. But the process is painful. See, I just want to throw this out to you right now. You could have taken up, uh, what is it, Thai kickboxing? In which case, you'd have to be going out to a tree and kicking it with your shins until you busted your legs. I think that's more of a myth. Think so? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a myth. I don't think people actually go out and for intentionally make their students kick trees until they break their legs. There's got to be a better way. I don't know. My point is, is I'm that... I'm not a kickboxer. Yeah, I, I could have chosen something a bit more highly aggressive. But, you know, I've already got a temper. I think having a martial arts system that requires someone to punch me first has probably kept me out of jail. Probably. Yeah. I mean, after they make the first swing, I mean, if you end up decapitating them with a throat strike, it was really their fault for instigating. I've never seen a true throat strike. Nor do I care. You'd be surprised what punching somebody can do. It's really effective. The punk. Ow! Yeah! Yeah, that happens! You want to try it again? Okay. Usually they say no and they walk away, and I'm happy about that because. Usually that first defense was pure instinct, and I have no idea where it came from. Woo! Oh, mother of pearl. So, that was Kevin. Tai Chi misconceptions. We still got ten more minutes. I hate your face. <laughs> Bye. No, wait.